Hey guys, it's the Brownstone Boys. We're gonna take you inside our Green Ab Glow Up project and show you how things are going. So this is a brownstone from 1890, and we are renovating the entire structure from top to bottom. It's gonna have a garden rental two bedroom unit, and then upstairs in the top three floors are gonna be the owner's triplex. Yeah, a lot of restoration in this project, so let's walk you through what's going on. We're gonna start here in the parlor floor. Floors have been knocked out. Unfortunately, they were very unleveled, which is a very common problem in these older homes. So we replaced all the flooring, we leveled the joists, and what we did is we laid this beautiful herringbone floor down. This is a white oak. Uh, the plank size is... It's a 24 inch by four inch board. And when you buy a herringbone floor, it's actually, you have to buy specifically that floor to install. So it's a little bit more expensive for purchasing the flooring and for the installation, but it's so beautiful, it's absolutely worth it. One of my favorite things here in the space is the original inlay. We were fortunate enough that we were able to keep this. This is the vestibule doors. Hello, beautiful. Obsessed with these doors. We had them paint stripped. Now they have the natural wood. The next step in this process will be adding the finish on this. We're thinking either a tongue oil or a varnish just to make sure this wood is protected. One of the other things you might notice here is the decorative wall molding all around this room. Um, this is made to look traditional and original, but it's actually brand new. We just installed all of this, um, but it really creates that, that character that you expect in a historic home like this. Above it, you see the original frieze or tapestry all around the room. This was existing, we cleaned it up. There's a couple of spots of missing. Uh, it's a very expensive work to do, but we're gonna restore it just in this area here, but otherwise it looks really beautiful. So when we start working with clients, the number one question we always get is how to open up the entire back which allows for a huge window or a glass slider. Here at Green Avenue Glow Up, we were fortunate because we added an entire bifold door that opens up to a brand new deck space. Yeah, let's take a look at it. So we worked with Anderson Windows on this and it takes a lot of work to get to this point. There's a lot of engineering involved. There's a big steel beam that you can't see above this. And so working with a structural engineer is really important. But what's really amazing is this entire thing opens up. And of course it opens out onto the deck and in the backyard, which is really beautiful. So getting that kind of indoor, outdoor uh, feeling was really gonna be amazing. This was a really beautiful addition and it's really something that I feel is really popular right now. People want in their renovations. So right next to that really huge, beautiful window is gonna be the kitchen. Um, so they're gonna have a nice big island here. It's about seven feet of island. And the rest of the kitchen is gonna be this back wall. And then on the other side of the room, we have a beautiful original marble fireplace. And on either side of that, they're gonna have a lot of storage and even a little mini bar. So we're gonna take you guys upstairs, but before we go up, we wanted to stop and just look at this beautiful uh, banister on this staircase. It's being restored, so the paint was stripped off of it. Had a little more work to do, and you can also see that we're installing wainscoting up the walls. This is the very first step, and upstairs you'll be able to see what it's gonna look like. Let's go upstairs. out the primary bedroom and bathroom follow me so another really beautiful room you know as you can see a lot of the uh, molding the wall molding has gone in this room as well we also have another beautiful uh, original marble fireplace um, all of the original well, window moldings and shutters have been restored and let's take let's check out the primary bathroom as well because this is an amazing room that we just cannot wait to see finished 
Um, so for one thing, it's huge for a New York City bathroom, which is great. And it's gonna have a really big freestanding tub right here in front of this gorgeous uh, feature tile. This is from Fireclay. This is the Summit Collection from Fireclay. It's handmade, handcrafted. It is absolutely stunning. I love it. And um, actually, it's already grouted. We were kind of toying between the two grouts, yeah. but we went with the white bright here. And the idea was to have these, these grid lines between the tiles disappear so you can just see the beautiful pattern. But it looks really great. And you're gonna see a theme in this house. Lots of niches. There's niches everywhere. So built-in storage into the walls. This is gonna be really convenient right next to the tub. So this bathroom is looking beautiful, but there's so much work left to do. We can't wait to show you the finished product. So subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can be the first to know. So going back to the niches, this really has me excited because this is where the primary bed will be going. They're gonna put, I believe, a king size bed over here. We put a niche right behind the bed. So it allows for a lot of storage, some books, maybe an alarm clock. The lighting here is very important. So not only do we have recessed lights in, but we have these beautiful sconces that are in um, above the bedroom. And we even have an LED strip that will go underneath this niche as well too. So they're gonna get some really great lighting in here, no matter if it's morning, noon, or night. So here you can see the beautiful finished wainscoting that's going in. It's all gonna be painted out. So that's why you see some of the wood already primed, um, but really nice way to get that character back into a historic home um, where it had been removed previously. We're on the top floor here, and this is now configured into three bedrooms. They're using it, one of the rooms is a playroom. But this was a really awkward space at first because it was its own separate apartment. So there was this big wall here that kind of blocked all the natural light. We've added a skylight here, or we lengthened it, so it allows for a lot more light. And these bedrooms are just beautiful. Let's take a look. So let's take a look at the windows that we installed in this house. We went with a Pella window. Um, this is their lifestyle series and their wood interior and aluminum clad exterior. So that's the, the type of windows we like to use because very durable on the outside, but you get the nice wood feature on the inside. We actually painted these ourselves. So we got these windows unfinished and, and painted them. Um, they're looking really beautiful. All of this window casing is all brand new as well. So we're able to get the windows as big as we could into the, the opening in the wall. We're actually in one of the bedrooms on the top floor right now. And a lot of people wonder how to get two bedrooms across the front of a brownstone when there's a window in the middle. Right. Obviously you can't just build a wall right in the middle. And as you can see, what we did here is made this really fun little zigzaggy wall. Um, so this would make a really cool kids room. But if we go to the room next door, you'll see how uh, this room is also able to have a lot of space and it's a little smaller than that one, but it has two windows which is really nice as well. So another bathroom that we're just lo loving here is the top floor bathroom, which is known as the kids' bathroom. We worked with fire clay tile on this again, and we have some really beautiful grays going on in this. We uh, used this uh, tile here and kind of brought that all along into the shower wall. We use this beautiful tile from uh, Tile Bar here to kind of separate the bath and the shower. And this floor tile here just kind of gives out all that perk and fun that kids should have in their bathroom. So last space on the top floor that we just want to briefly talk a bit about is the laundry room here. New York City, we're lucky just to have a corner for laundry, but they get their own designated space for laundry, which is really exciting. We're gonna put in some Ikea cabinetry here. So they have that storage for towels, linens, etc. They'll have a washer and dryer. And then of course, accompanied by this beautiful, fun floor tile. So thanks for coming on the house update tour here at Green Avenue Glow Up. We gotta get back to work because there's so much more that needs to be done. It's a work in progress here. We can't wait to show you the rest, so subscribe below and we'll see you then. Bye guys.